So you're heading off to post-secondary education. What do you need? Cell phone, check. Mac and cheese and ramen noodles, check. Bus pass, check. Budget, huh? Believe it or not, as you go off to post-secondary studies, your budget is going to be your new BFF. And here's why. The budget lists are far more likely to crash and burn when they're at school than those who have a spending plan. You know how it goes. If you run out of money, you're running to your roommate for handouts because you have nothing to eat. Or worse, you're groveling to your parents asking for a top up before the end of the school year. And you know how that goes. In my new book, Count on Yourself, Take Charge of Your Money, I tell you why it's so important to take care of the money side of your life. In fact, it's even more important sometimes than your love life. Now here are some tips for students to help you create and live by a budget. First of all, focus on what are your fixed costs. Those are the things that you know you're going to spend every single month. And you also know how much it is. So it'll be rent, room and board, your bus pass. You can get a simple budget spreadsheet that you can download from the internet or simply just write it down. That works too. So write all those fixed costs down. Second, your variable costs. Now, these are things that you spend every week or every month, but they're likely to change. Things like your grocery bill, for example. Write those down. Now, estimate them. These can be kind of tricky to figure out exactly what those variable costs are going to be, but take your best guess. So now you've got two categories. The last category are your wants. Now, believe it or not, entertainment is not an essential. But ballpark how much you think you might spend on things like manicures, new ringtones, or the latest video game. So now you've got your three categories, fixed, variable, and the wants. Now, take a look at how much you're going to get throughout the student year from student loans, grants, scholarships, your parents, and perhaps a part-time job. That's all your income. Then divide it by the number of months you're going to be at school. Now you have a monthly income budget. Compare that to your expenses. And if there's a discrepancy, i.e. more money going out than coming in on a monthly basis, then you've got to go back to the beginning and figure out where you can cut. Count on yourself. Take charge of your money. As a student, it's going to pay off hugely for your future.